Peggy 3. We really worked hard at building um, shoes that looked exactly the way you know you would look at them if I saw them on your feet. Never had the ability to assign materials to to shoes. I mean, to really make the light and the texture feel like suede or feel like patent leather or feel like rubber or plastic or you know or little metal buckles or whatever it was and so we built shaders this year to really bring out the qualities of those particular materials the cool thing is that now the shoes look look tangible as the shoe world evolves we want to keep the game current uh, but this year there's a, a, a bunch of brands have entered in the nba world so we have spalding has joined in under armor has joined in of course, we've always had Adidas, Reebok, Converse, uh, and, and Nike. So the shoe editor is really, really cool. We built it similar to a Photoshop um, system. And the cool thing about it is that you can take all these different pieces and put them together. You can take multiple pieces and put them together. You're selecting colors and materials, and then you're also deciding which piece has priority in the way that you see it. The quest was to create something that would reduce the number of clones that you would see. So like if I create a shoe and you create a shoe, we wouldn't end up pretty much ever with the same exact shoe. And that's something that we tried to achieve this year. The way the shoe creator breaks down is we take those regions, we call them regions. In every region, we have multiple variations of pieces that you can kind of use as a construction set. It all ends up blending, and when the shoe is built, it looks like one piece that is built with that in mind. But the idea is you can layer in as much or as little as you want. So let's say I just want a really simple shoe. I pick an outsole, I pick a, a regular midsole, one toe, my laces, my tongue, my collar, my heel, I'm finished. No two shoes are the same. Inside of my player, as you progress, one of the cool things is that once you become a Nike marquee player, you know, you'll be invited in to meet with Tinker. Uh, Tinker Hatfield, who's one of the, you know, the, the, the great designers of, of our time when it comes to shoes, and create your own shoe from scratch, but all based on the Nike brand, based on the Nike materials and all this stuff. So he'll guide you through the shoes, letting you know what attributes and what particular things uh, the build of your shoe are affecting, and that's, that's a really cool thing. It's really focused in on attribute boost based on quality of materials, lightness of shoe, um, structure of, of sole, cushioning, you know, all those things that as we go out and buy our shoes for our daily basketball game, we try to factor in, hey, I'm a big, I need more support. Hey, I'm a guard, I need a really light shoe that's maybe flywire based or things like that. So the innovation kitchen for us is, uh, uh, it's really exciting because not only it's, it's a perk, it's a perk that you're only gonna get if you do really well in my player. One of the things that you know, our partnership with Nike allowed us to do this year is uh, to create a semblance of what they do when they create the shoes that all of us buy. We wanted to let players bring their Nike ID designs to life. So when you finish making your own custom colorways, you'll get an email with a link to nikeid.com to log on and purchase that shoe. You can become unique. Like you can literally make yourself to your own image. Shoes give you attributes. I wake up every morning, put on my shoes, bam, plus 10, smaller than you. Big deal. And so that variety and that authenticity that everybody expects from, you know, from, I call it the shoe game, is part of NBA 2K13 and the culture. Yeah.